Okay. Are you ready for this Italian interview? Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I will try, I will try my best with English, but Italian, not yet. I, I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, in this uh, difficult situation, what are you doing during this, this quarantine? Well, at the beginning, it was easy. Just uh, rest and... Um, watch watch TV, watch some some TV shows, but now that it's like uh, one month in quarantine, the things start being more difficult. I don't know how to do now. I'm I'm playing computer games now, like a thing that I didn't do since I, I was 15. So yeah, I play computer games and that's it. I try cooking, but... Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You are yeah, a good chef. I, yeah, I think yes. Pasta, <laughs> pasta, pasta is, is my top top dish. Pasta with? I don't know. With with everything, pasta is good with everything. <laughs> okay, okay. And um, what type of program? Maybe Netflix, La Casa de Papel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. La Casa de Papel. <laughs> I started and finished in in one day eight hours watching the La Casa de Papel and I finished in one day and now I'm seeing the I'm watching the um, How I Met Your Mother yeah you know yeah yeah I know I'm watching I'm watching it and it's great it's a great TV show yeah uh, I'd like to know if you like Italy yeah yeah I like I, I visit a few few times each year and it's, it's a great country I love it okay. great people great food everything okay. is great and uh, maybe do you know some words in italian just some uh, yeah but you know that the first thing you learn in one language is the bad things you know yeah yeah okay. this, is the, this is the first the first thing that yeah. you learn yeah yeah always yeah. oh but yeah. no but yeah. I, I i want to know some uh, beautiful words not bad ragazza ragazza um, Tortellini. <laughs> Tortellini, good. And um, yeah, yeah, I know, I know a few, but now I'm, I don't know. Okay, ragazze tortellini. I think enough no, to no, spend no, a no. good day. I know, I know a few more, but now I, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, okay. In Italy, some players are talking about uh, uh, water polo during summer. It's happening yeah. also in Spain. What do you think about it? Well, in Spain, the situation is really confusing. Um, and players don't know nothing, but coaches don't know nothing. Yeah. It's, it's really confusing. It's a really hard situation that anyone knows nothing. And we are, we are waiting and hope that, like in Italy, the the competitions return in, in summer, but we don't know. No, yes, we don't know too, but um, it's an idea. You, Taul, Bustos, Sarahuya are a really good player, but you are also young, really young. So I think, I think yes. and all the people think that your national team can grow more and um, do really beautiful things. And you yeah. think that this is uh, um, about the Centros de uh, Rendimiento? I really think that Spain has a, a great future with all the young players that are growing up really good and really fast. And yeah, maybe it's one of the things of these of this good things are because of the uh, high performance centers like CAR in San Cugat near Barcelona that I was there for three years, uh, Barnat as well for three or four years, yeah. Roger as well. And yes, yes, yes we, we have that, that luck that is a high performance center in, in Barcelona and that the things are, are going well. And uh, you can work with technical and uh, tactical aspects um, in the central. But um, how do you get ready mentally for these important games, uh, international games like uh, Olympic Games, European? 
because the the things the thing were like uh, at the morning all the guys uh, train at the at the car at the yeah. high performance center, but then for the in the afternoon they they train at the it's it's club yeah. you know and train with their teammates train the tactic it's like at the morning in the car they train like technique and okay. and physique. And in the afternoon, they train like tactic with the club. Yes, so, but you are young, you know. How yeah, you can ready mentally? Well, it's I don't know how to say. It. It's like my my lucky that I've been in that team. That's my fourth year, and well, it's it's a path that, that I'm walking, and every year I I feel better. I feel more confident, and. That's it. Imagine you in the future. Yeah. Okay, your best goals, uh, your uh, best dreams, uh, how you can imagine? Well, it's it's sad to say, but my, my dream, like all the water polo players and uh, all the sportsmen around the world, was the uh, Tokyo Olympics. I, it, that, that was my, my future. But it had uh, it was postponed yeah. for, uh, for for the next year. But well, as I said, we we will keep working for that for that dream. And maybe my dream is that my best goal is scoring at the final in in the Olympic. It's like all all my dream the Olympics. Who is the best defender that you met in your career? Well, I always say that the best defender is in my team. Is for me is Mark Larumbe. Okay. You know, it's yeah. When when I train against him, is it's like the the toughest defender I ever met. And my lucky is that he's in my team. So <laughs> yeah. <it's laughs> <all good. laughs> the best player that you met. Ah, uh, of course, Felipe Perrone. Yeah, I with. With any doubt, Felipe Perrone, yeah. Um, how much is important uh, Felipe in a team? Yeah. But not funny. only as a player, I think that yeah. um, he's a leader. Yeah, of course. As a player, he's the number one. That's... And anyone can say that. But then when you are with him at the, at the team, you learn more things that is not on the water. You, you learn about how to be a leader, how to how to communicate with your teammates. Yeah, it's like I said before, I have the lucky to have Mark Larum in my team, but also have the luck of have mm. Felipe Perron in my team and learning every day of him. I remember um, a thing that surprised me uh, in uh, Budapest. I was there, you won, you won the second place uh, and uh, he had a great smile on, on his face. Uh. And I say, well, damn, <laughs> you lost, but you always smile. I think that is a really good example for for some players. Yeah, you you refer to uh, Felipe. Yeah. Yeah, uh, we talked uh, after the game. It was a really hard moment for me. Yeah, I know. Maybe the toughest moment in my career. Yeah. And when I was talking with him, he said to me that um he lost a lot yeah all in all his career they have lost lost a lot and now that he thinks really, really different like, uh, about me that every every medal it's a triumph yes it's not it's not in it's not really important the, the color but to be in the podium to have a medal it's it's like a victory and now I, I think as, as he that it's important to be at the podium, but it's important to, to have the whole one, you know? But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. He's a really, really good person. But I have to show you, I think, um, you know, I am proud to be Italian. I, yep. for sure, love my team, our team, Sette Bella and Sette Rosa, but wait there. Wait, wait. Ha <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Leave the number. Yeah, Felipe Capo. Yeah, yeah Felipe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Desde de Velo. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. What yeah. is that about seeing you with that cap? Mm, said the bello uh, about uh, about me with this. Oh, nothing. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I have I have it all also of um, of said the bello. Yeah. Yeah. So yes. so it's okay. It's okay. It's yeah. it's Felipe. So. <laughs> It's, it's okay. a Felipe. It's also a little bit Italian. He, yes, yes, I know, I know. Italian. I made an interview with him uh, during the um, European Championship. So yes. yeah, yeah, I, I know, I know, I know. Um, some other passions or hobbies uh, that you have, uh, maybe during your free time, you don't have it a lot. Uh, yeah. But uh, the, it's that that we like are uh, we are high performance sportman and we don't have many many time i know to to have hobbies or to have some passion but yeah with i have when i have like two days or a weekend i like to expect to spend it at, at house to take time with my family with my with my friends and do nothing at all just rest and going take 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 a coffee with my friends or take a beer and for me that's that's a great time and that's all do you listen music uh, what do you like yes. i love what music. type of music latin music you are a good dancer yeah, yeah. latin music but <laughs> ah rita pavone you know oh rita really pavone? yeah rita yeah. pavone wow but um, it's incredible I, it was like il baile de no sé Il ballo del mattone. Il ballo del mattone. Il ballo del mattone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I was I was watching a movie. Yeah. And in that movie the the song appears. Who is your favorite singer? I don't have one. I have a lot of, of favorite one, like a uh, group in Spain that it's called Estopa. Okay, I, I don't know him. Yeah, a lot. But he, someone say that uh, you are a good singer, it's true? It's false. <laughs> <laughs> it's completely false. I love music, but I'm really, really bad singer. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, thank you. Really. Thank you too, Raya. Well, like I said before, these are really tough moments for for all, not for only for sportman. But we need to keep keep going and be strong, stay with with our beloved, and that's it. And waiting that in one moment, not so far, uh, this situation this situation get better, and and that's it. Okay. Hoping and that's it. Thank you so much, really. Thank you, Aya. Ciao. Ciao.